Hi, I'm Will Giese. I'm a member of the board at RTP and we're here today to do an assessment of a basement and we're looking for opportunities to uh, make improvements for air sealing and uh, quality, air quality and, um, and a general uh, risk analysis. Asbestos tile on the floor. We know that because it's 9x9, nine nine, which is uh, very common dimension for asbestos. Um, it's not friable, uh, not highly friable, meaning it's not airborne, so you're not going to breathe it into your lung. You've got these, these units are up on, uh, on blocks, so that's a good thing because you don't want them to rust out from the bottom. There's, um, there's also some uh, evidence of water leaks. So if you see um, if you see green around um, some copper pipes, that's an indication that there might be an active water leak. Another thing that I noticed with the heating system right here <clears throat> is that we've got a hot water heater. Um, you really want to look for the slope on these lines. If you have an immediate bend here, then the um, then the exhaust gases, all the carbon um, monoxide, will um, will not want to start flowing because it's immediately trying to turn. We just know for sure that if there's no 12 inch um, riser right here, then that's not legal. So it's an emergency valve. This is set to 15 pounds right here, so or 12 pounds or whatever, but it's, it's a very low pressure. Point being that, um, that if you have a problem with the, the system, this will trigger first. It'll start blowing really hot water, very hot water, all over the place. And that's illegal to not have a spout that goes within, I think, eight inches or six inches of the ground. One of the little signs of, of airflow is if you have a lot of cobweb. The spiders don't build their cobwebs um, around places where there's no airflow. You've got a situation over here where, um, where you've got airflow um, through here. And I don't feel anything too bad coming in here, but it's definitely a little cool compared to the temperature of the basement down here. There's a lot to think about with these basements and, um, and it's, it doesn't take long to do all these little things and, um, and you never know when you could be making a big difference.